these these fucking idiots who are supporting the Houthis right now are literally supporting a movement that does the Roman salute because the Nazis did it. It literally says, curse the Jews in their motto on their fucking flag. It is a movement that brought back slavery to Yemen. So if people think that they're lefty and supporting these people for resistance and liberation, you can remind them to pull their head out of their asshole. Because just because these people have a darker skin tone than you does not make them sinless. Huh? So if you think that the Houthis are your new bad boy resistance boyfriends, I would like you to remind them that your badass resistance liberatory boyfriends are getting fucked up the ass by the Islamic Republic every single day of the week. How about that? They're sucking the dick of an old man, some old men in calm, taking it all the way down. Okay? Because <laughs> these people forget who's at the top of the food chain. And the answer is it's some 90-year-old decrepit looking crypt keeper mullahs and comb <laughs> okay <laughs> seeing people celebrate the houthis i you know i didn't think that i could hate these lefty types more than i already did well october taught me some things and then seeing them descend to the level of praising the houthis when they have no idea the misery that they have wrought upon the, the yemeni people the disdain and disgust you showed towards the towards the suffering of the yemeni people you were spitting on them it is so fucking embarrassing it is so fucking embarrassing embarrassing but these people have a revolutionary fetish what this is to them is revolution porn that's what this is to them it excites them in a visceral physical way it's porn to them this is porn to them and their ideology and what they believe in this is a fetish. It excites them. It satisfies their desires. That's why they act this way. I want people to call it out. They see these deaths. They see Palestinian children being brainwashed into aspiring to become martyrs because of the strength of their resistance. At the end of the day, it's porn to them. And we should treat them with nothing but disgust and being reviled by them. That's what I think about that. <laughs> see, this is the thing. See, see, the broke version, you know, it's not, it's not very cool to say, you know, Jewish power conspiracy, like a freaking Nazi, you know, saying Jewish power, like that's broke. You know what? And we're not going to be broke. We're not going to be broke. We're not broke boys, we're spoiled girlies. And spoiled girlies know that it's not Jewish power. That's so like 1930s, okay? No, 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 no. We're going to be woke. We're not going to be broke. We're going to be woke. And the woke version is that Jews are a colonizing, settling, white, colonial, oppressive, apartheid state force. And that not only that, not only that, but in America, they are a white oppressor class. Because Jewish power is broke, but we're woke. And woke people know that Jews are a white oppressor class and they have too much control of our media. And yeah, so but no, we're not Nazis because that's broke. Um, because at the top of the oppression pyramid, we have the first layer. <laughs> yeah. 
guys, remember, on, on this side, we have we have Brooke. And then if you go up and then you go all the way down to this side, you know, you know, you know, it's almost it's almost shaped like this. It's almost shaped like a horseshoe. We have Brooke and then we have Wilk. And Brooke, that sounds like so that sounds like so gross. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Santa's being that uncle that says I woke up political at dinner and then has a few drinks. My family has to keep a tight leash on me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know, okay, I get heated, as is normal. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. But I just feel like with the attitude of the mainstream left nowadays, like that especially being a classical liberal like myself, um, that, that basically stands like outside of the left at this point in time. It also kind of stands outside of the right. I think it's its own, its own set of guiding principles. Young leftists in the West need to learn that white people are also ruled by non-whites like Arab rule in Spain. I'm 100% sure that they will make excuses. They will refuse to accept it. They will say that it's not the same. They will say that empires constructed by the quote-unquote West, by European forces, are exceptional in one way or another. Um, and in certain circumstances, they were. I'm not going to like argue otherwise, right? I'm not going to be a historical revisionist like they are. Um, but yeah, no, that doesn't count. Why does it not count? You'll never get a consistent answer. But that does not count. And what's so funny is I was having a conversation with my boyfriend um, <laughs> about this. And he was arguing with someone who took the mindset of basically, oh, you know, the people that were colonized by our country, you know, hundreds of years ago they have a they have a right to hate us and all this stuff blah 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 and he was like well my country was like colonized literally conquered by like muslim and arab invaders centuries ago does that give me a right to hate arabs and muslims it's like when they and they're never they're gonna say no of course not he's like yeah and i don't want to they actually brought many beautiful things that shaped my culture so I'm not I'm not gonna like hate people to this day. That happened hundreds of years ago. The people nowadays had nothing to do with that. But yet these people will refuse to accept this.